Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Monday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, so daily chart, and what we saw Friday was the result of being able to take, being unable to take out the mid band, unable to convert the nine-day simple moving average, and at that point, the all-time highs come under threat. And on a Friday, you're going to get this kind of a move. Um, they couldn't hold them. They go up and do a brand new all-time high at 2580.75. You either fought it or you made money. Um, we were long the majority of the day. Um, we, you know, we we got out of everything. Uh, we were long 66.75. We ended up long 66.75 and 69.5. I talked about that on the midday update. We didn't trade in the afternoon. We didn't need to. Our day was over um, because the temptation would have been to to really fight price. So what are we seeing in the overnight? Well, we're seeing what you would expect. We are seeing some retracement from you know an all-time high back to currently the weekly pivot. Or, I'm sorry, the daily pivot. Your dotted line here is the daily pivot. The weekly pivot is down at 2566 half. I will tell you the same thing I tell you at the beginning of every week. I fully expect a test of the weekly pivot sometime during the first one to two sessions. Um, that is typically when it's dealt with and it will be up to the bears to see if they can hold it this week. You can see they broke it last week. We did a lower low for the week down at uh, 25, 41 half. They were just unable to keep it. They tried to turn it into resistance, were unsuccessful, retested and paid the price. Um, what they want to do this week would be to, to break 66 half and to keep it there for the rest of the week. It won't be easy, um, but testing it after printing a, a new all-time high is, is fairly doable. Um, so the question becomes, what happens when we get there? I would not anticipatorily buy it, um, and I would not be piling in or adding to shorts on, on a break below. Uh, shorting in the hole hasn't paid in this market consistently in years, um, and there's no reason to blind buy. What if they want to run it through like last week? Um, you know, when, when it stops going down, when it starts making higher lows on smaller time frames, that's when you can get involved, um, on the long side, there's plenty of time to get in. If it breaks and we start to create consistently lower highs, um, then, you know, I'm interested in, you know, at that point I get interested in a short, um, so I'll be watching this hourly mid band as we head into the open. I'm flat now. I, I watched it all night. I watched the World Series is what I watched. But, uh, you know, daily pivot is the area that the bears are having trouble getting through. Uh, so right there at, you know, call it 71, 75 ish, 71, 80. That's your first clue. Converting that area is your first clue that the bears could go down and do 66s. Um, if they can, then we see how that goes. And then you're then at that point, if they break that, then you're looking at the Friday low, which is down at 57.5. If daily pivot holds, needs to climb back over the hourly mid. And at that point, really all that all that would be left to do would be to go back and retest the 80 area. What I would be interested in on a push back up is before we did 80, we had all time highs in the 77s and we saw some fairly consistent resistance in that area. Um, I'll be interested to see what the 77s do if they want to be a lower high. If they do, then maybe we go up to go down. Just treat it with an open mind, okay? It's Monday morning, there's a lot of day left, there's a lot of week left. Let this thing open up. Um, uh, and then, you know, trade price and risk. All right, everybody have a good one. I will catch everybody for the midday update. Trade them well, and I'll talk to you then. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.